Row, deemed the Midwest Sweet 16 King, has been known for doing up to three birthday performances every week. On top of his already booked concert performances, the young rap star's determination and work ethic is not of your typical 18 year old. Our movement has two to three generations of fan base. Did you hear me? I said two to three generations. I'm talking about from the parents down to the children and even the grandchildren. We won the business award two years in a row for the Radio 1 Traffic Music Awards in which this year, your boy made history, I took on five. That's winning every category I was nominated for. You know, nothing fixed, my fan base is real. You can check out my videos. My company is self-sufficient. We do our own promo, recordings, PR work. We doing something right, man, so we gotta keep it moving. And I mean, we've been in business for over 16 years in the St. Louis downtown area as a minority business. That's an accomplishment itself. One thing that I, I, I would like to see my son, that role, is that like right now for him uh, or any label that may be interested in him, any investors, like like uh, to take advantage of his youth just right now, you know, and, and being his father, I'm not really his manager, I'm just, I'm just a, a parent that's behind his son 100% like any parent would be behind their kids going to college. And, and Young Roe takes this career seriously, just like a college student. He definitely uh, applies himself. He has his schedule set out, with his uh, internet, his research day, his uh, studio day. And I'm proud of him, but, but while he's 18, I would like for him to be, um, take a, like any label to take advantage of that youthfulness right now. I don't want him to be 21 years old and uh, that he's portrayed as an 18 year old. And, and you know, I know that's part of the industry. I know it's done quite a bit, but then, you know, sometimes it's not hard to exploit that because then you have like uh, the alleged 18 year old in the club um, uh, popping bottles and, and doing conduct of a 21 year old. BPNT is known for the innovative and creative ideas. Young Roe is strategizing a campaign to build a coalition of candy girls, expressing that all females possess beauty and selecting the type of candy that best describes them. Thicky for the shapely females. Bossy baked beans for the deep complexion ladies, or even the hot tamales for the Borica community. Symbolizing that for every female, there's a flavor for you. Building the coalition means building fans that will patronize the cause. Candy Girl is a catalyst for merchandising, introducing the artist's hood classic candy gear, a line of trendy graphic tees named after the penny candy infamous in urban mom and pop stores. We are truly, truly workaholics. And if you want to be like in a, a layman's terms, you know, we're grinders and we grind hard. Everything we did, everything from the internet uh, activity, from the campaigns to the street marketing it, is conducted in house. You know, we believe in conserving dollars. I really take pride in our guerrilla promo and our street marketing campaigns. We go hard, simply put. You know, I'm comfortable with saying that we on top in this region, not just the city. You know, I've been fortunate to be in many national magazines and editorials. You know, shout out to all the people that had a feature with me on the front cover, or even if it was just a page in there. You know, it's much love. You know, it's a blessing to chart billboard at an independent level. You know, I feel like it gives your story substance, and you know, then you don't gotta even pay for exposure. One of BPNT's goals is to increase Young Rose's already dedicated fan base to a global level by breaking racial barriers as a primary objective, allowing his fans and supporters to grow with him as he matures, as seen with Michael Jackson, Jay-Z, and Usher. Young Rose, being 18, I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident, confident to say that at this point in time, from like, let's say the uh, demographics between ages 12 to 20, he's ready. He's ready for, I mean, I, I, he's gonna, he's 18, so he's gonna always need development. 
I mean, that's just a part of maturity. You're going to always you need development. But um, as far as being 18, you know, you, you it's harder for a mature person or older person to tell a teen what they like. Because the, the generation gap is just so different now. Young Rose's career is the epitome of determination and success. His willingness to learn, achieve, and contribute is what makes this entertainer a teen icon in the Midwest. Poised with a swag envied by most males twice his age and an appeal to the female audience that will open any doors for endorsements and merchandising. Young Rose is destined for greatness. All artists need development. That's just the process of maturity. But it's unquestionable that Young Rose is ready for his teen audience. You know, I, I'm quite comfortable to say that we push a lot of units, a lot of units, man. Even some that weren't able to be scanned. But, uh, hey, I mean, that, that we've been constantly at it is uh, a given. So uh, definitely, you know, look into Black Pearl. Uh, you know, we're based in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, support Young Rose. Uh, and I, I, hey, like I said, gracias to everybody. And, you know, that's one thing that we always focus on, that our uh, cross-cultural fan base of being uh, Japanese, Latin, and Black, uh, that our fan base is massive. Massive. I'm sure if you do any research, that you'll, you'll find that out. Thank you. You know, to end it, I just want to say thanks to God. My supporters, my fans, my family, my Black Pearl family, and the labels that are interested. If I'm given the opportunity, I won't let you down, nor will I get content off my grind. Believe in me. Three years ago, a Black president was thought to be impossible. But look, history was made. So all I'm asking is that you believe in me.